Hello, um, so in this video I'm going to be reviewing a book which I haven't really done before, I haven't dedicated a whole video to one book and actually this particular book I had to sit down and like write down everything I thought about it because there was so much to say so I should probably get on with it then. <laughs> the book was Girl Online by Zoe Sugg or Zoella as she's more commonly known. I should probably clear up because a few people at school were confused because I took this into school because um, I was reading it and so I had it on my desk and whatever um, and they thought it was an autobiography um, because Zoe spends a lot of time online I guess but it's not so I'll probably clear that up now um, it's about a girl called Penny um, who in order to deal with her um, panic attacks that she's been having um, starts an anonymous blog so that she can express how she's feeling without being you know judged by people at her school or her family or whatever um, and she has a best friend called Elliot, who's amazing, I want an Elliot in my life. Um, and then, um, by some turn of events, uh, they end up going to New York together with um, Penny's parents for the winter Christmas period, which again is another dream of mine, I'd love to spend winter in New York. Um, and there she meets the boy of her dreams called Noah, um, and then finds out that not all is as it seems, so yeah. <laughs> I really loved the book. I thought it was really well written. I mean, you could literally hear Zoe in the narrative sometimes. I mean, you can tell the bits that she's pulled from her own experiences. And I think that's what makes it really good. Because there's that saying, always write about what you know. And obviously a girl, you know, having a blog and, you know, dealing with the kind of things that Penny has to deal with. Obviously Zoe will have first-hand experience with that. And that's what I thought made the book so real and truthful. And that was really, like, enjoyable to read about. Also, it was really funny and contemporary. It had a lot of modern references in there to, you know, um, videos and books and stuff that, you know, teenagers will be able to understand. So I really enjoyed that. And um, the fact that it's so... I don't really like the word relatable because it's kind of putting everyone in a box, but I really, I really enjoyed how she was connected to the reader, I felt. Also, the book tackles themes, like I've said already, of anxiety and panic attacks, but also of cyberbullying, which comes in um, a bit later in the story, but I think a lot of people will find that helpful and relevant, and the way that um, Zoe approaches it is really mature and really helpful, I found. Um, fortunately, I've never had to deal with that, but anyone who has, you know, um, I can imagine them finding the book really helpful and really kind of comforting to know that they're not alone and there's always something they can do about it. Of course, when I first got this, I headed over to Twitter to see what other people were saying about it. And I saw a lot of tweets kind of like, um, I mean, obviously Zoe has 6 million subscribers now. Um, so obviously some of those people won't, won't be readers and won't enjoy reading. And there are people saying, oh, I'm going to read this because Zoe's written it. I'm actually really excited to read this because Zoe's written a book. And I think that's amazing, you know, that she's managed to encourage people that don't usually read to read a book. And hopefully they will you know, have enjoyed it as much as I have and gone on to read other books in a similar genre and I really hope that this will spark a lot of people's love of reading and I'm really thankful to Zoe for that because I live in constant fear of like books dying out due to Kindles and whatnot so I was really happy about that. Whilst on Twitter I found also a lot of negative comments saying that uh, they were confused at why Zoe's written a book or that um, she should stick to YouTube or why is she using... Hello. Hello. You decided to join in. You can only be in my video if you don't make the camera on focus, okay? And I was really disappointed by these negative comments because I think it's really... Shush! Zoe's clearly someone who's happy and she's obviously very successful and I think you must kind of be unhappy in yourself if you're attacking someone who clearly you don't know and you don't really know what they've gone through or how much effort they've put into writing a book, for example. So, I mean, if you're put off by the negative comments, I would say don't be because Zoe kind of addresses that in the book as well, that, you know, sending hate to people that you don't really know is not valid and doesn't add to the happiness in the world, as she says, so. Overall, I found it a really warm and happy story. I felt like when I was reading it, I was really cosy and I could just curl up with some tea or hot chocolate, whatever your drink of preference is. Um, and it was really readable, you know, it was just, it just kind of flowed really nicely. Um, and I'd be really happy if Zoe decided to write something else. I mean, I'd love to read it.
frankly, I'd read her grocery lists. Points for you if you know what reference that is. So that's all for this week, and as always, leave me comments um, about what you think of Girl Line if you've read it, or if you're going to read it, or just in general, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd love to read them, and also um, I'll leave my social media things in the thing, because that's what people do on this site. <laughs> so I'll put my Twitter and my Tumblr, because that's all I use in there. I, no one uses Facebook. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. God. Can you go away?